The Real McCoys, starring Walter Brennan, created by Irving Pincus. Want you to meet the family known as the Real McCoys. That's Grand Pappy Amos, the head of the clan. He roars like a lion, but he's gentle as a lamb. And now here's Luke, who beams with joy since he may take Mrs. Luke McCoy. From West Virginia they came to stay in sunny California. Oh, Grandpappy Amos and the girls and the boys of the family known as the Real McCoys. Identify Luke. Yep, there's socks with holes in them and shirts in each button. Yeah, well, that's good, good. Senor Grandpa, I picked some special wild petunias for Senor Ike. <laughs> oh, she'd really appreciate that. You put that over there. Are you sending all these clothes to the charity house? No, these are prime garments. We're getting them out because Kate's coming home. <laughs> in my country, when somebody's been away for a while, we welcome them back home with candy and flowers and maybe a big fiesta. We can present them with socks. <laughs> this would be a blessing to Kate, getting back in the harness, doing the mending and everything. Your so grandpa, do you think they should be here by now? Well, I don't know. Luke's probably taking it easy. And then he can get a lot of traffic on that Bakersfield Road, you know. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi, Ash. Uh, I'd like you to meet my friend, Bob Crail. This is my grandpa, Mr. McCoy. Well, how do you do, sir? Right back to you, Bob. And this is Pepino. Mr. Pepino? Mucho gusto. And that's my brother, little Luke. Hi. You gonna marry him, Hassie? <laughs> Little Luke. You take a big mouth and go into your room and close the door on it. <laughs> You'll have to accept our apologies, Bob. The boy's just in the years where he's all loaded up with these curiosity bumps. <laughs> That's all right. Um, Hassie, I'll see you tomorrow then. Okay. Remember, we're gonna pick up Barbara and John about two. Fine. Nice meeting you, everybody. It's mutual. Hasta luego. What'd you think of him, Grandpa? Well, his hand was kind of moist, but. I guess this sticky boy's better than no boy at all. Oh, Grandpa. Can I come out now? Yeah, but no more of them smarty alec cracks now. Oh, what's all this stuff for? Oh, this is fixings for Kate to do. Oh, gosh, I've got a thousand things that need mending. I better go get them. All right. Hass, would you get the bedroom door for me? Sure. <laughs> hey, she sure ought to rest for an hour or so after a trip like that. Oh, and Grandpa, she's going to have to take it easy longer than that. That's the one condition the doctor insisted on before he let her come home. Yeah. He made me promise I'd stay in bed for another week and get yeah. rest. I ain't quite a hundred percent yet. Does it hurt much, Kate? Oh, well, he's just a little uncomfortable, I see. Well, now you just get in that bed, then we'll have you out on your feet before you know it. <laughs> it sure is good to be home. It's good to have you home. We missed you. Yeah, well, now come on, everybody. Let her get into bed. The quicker she gets rested, the quicker she's going to be better. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Welcome home, sugar babe. Thank you. You know, Grandpa, maybe we ought to get somebody to do some real cooking. We better find somebody fast. Kate's gonna need caring for. Laundry's piling up fast. There's a thousand things to do. Think of somebody, Grandpa. Already have thought of someone. Who? You has. Me? Nobody else but you. Oh, oh, Grandpa, Bob and I have all sorts of things planned. This is my week off from school. Well, that's why you've been elected. I'm no good at cooking and sewing. You'll see. Now, look, Harris. You're going on 17 year old. In the next four or five years, no doubt, get married. It's about time you learn how to take over a house and do a woman's work. And that's what I'm telling you to do right now. I can learn how... Don't want to hear no more about it. The clothes in these men is right out there on the table. The food's in the icebox, and you're right up again the stove, so just get going. <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa, are you really going to let her cook? That's right. Well, I'm going to get me a jug of water and a box of crackers and live out in the barn. <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa, I ain't so sure we're doing the right thing. You know, when it comes to cooking and sewing and everything, has he never quite measured up? Yeah, Luke, but that's why it's so important that she learn these things. It's for her own good. Yeah. And she'll do the best she can. But her cooking... Hey, Luke, not another word. 
We're all going through this thing if... if it kills us. over there. Gee, I can't even sew a button on. Oh, it's not so hard. You go get me some thread and I'll show you. Grandpa said you were supposed to rest. Now, don't be silly. A little sewing ain't gonna hurt me. Besides, he don't have to know. Now, you just go get me some thread. Okay. You're a lifesaver, Kate. Oh, will you show me how to darn a sock, too? Well, sure. Yeah. Uh, how do you like my stew? Well, it, it'll be fine as soon as you put the taste into it, but right now it sort of tastes like warm creek water. <laughs> well, it's almost finished. That's it. Well, yes, to tell you the truth, it, it, it ain't much. Uh, say, uh, why don't you put a little pep in it? You wouldn't want to lose all your customers the first night, now would you? <laughs> Darn. <laughs> they all had different kinds of holes in them. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Kate, Grandpa didn't like my stew. He said it tasted like warm creek water. Well, that's easy enough to fix. Just add a few slices of onion and some garlic. Is that all? Mm-hmm. I'll go get them for you. <laughs> Kate? About this much. Gosh, Kate, I'll never learn. Just watch me, Hessie. Salt? Yeah, you didn't wash them hands very good. Well, I washed the insides of them. That ain't enough. And you don't eat with the backs of your hands. Hey, Paul, over this sewing job that Hessie done. Look there, them buttons is on there strong as iron. Hey, by jingers, that's as good as a big league professional seems to <laughs> I hope the supper's as good. Here it comes. Yeah. Looks mighty good, has he? Thank you, Grandpa. Yeah, smells real promising. <laughs> Dad. But you can't live on promises. <laughs> well, go ahead and dig in, Luke. You look starved. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, it ain't polite to eat before the head of the house. <laughs> well, all right, if you say so. <laughs> Would you pass the bread, please?
tell you, it's terrific. But this is. It's delicious. It's marvelous. <laughs> oh, I forgot the coffee. Excuse me. Boy, it's real good. It's terrific. We ain't kidding. No, it is really good, little Luke. You ain't just saying that for Hansie? No, go ahead and dig in. Well? It really is good. Where you going? To wash my hands. Hey, to find a compliment, Emma was paid. <laughs> I'll tell them. Luke, Mr. McCoy. Well, what's the verdict, Doctor? Well, she's coming along just fine, Luke. However, it would be very helpful if she could have some diathermy treatments. Uh, what's that? Heat. Tends to relax the muscles. Uh, well, if that's what she needs, I say full speed ahead. Well, then I suggest she spend a few days in the hospital. That way it can be done properly. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I, I just hate to go. Now, look, sugar babe, if that's what the doctor says, you go. Well, I, I guess I've got no choice. There ain't no need to be concerned. Hassie here's turned into a great little cook. Sure, don't worry none about the house. You should ought to taste the supper this little one got for us last night. <laughs> yes, sir. Hassie's learned to handle her responsibilities all by herself, and I'm rightly proud of her. <laughs> Couldn't we just postpone it a little bit? Ain't no arguing. Come on, look, get her things together. <laughs> with me going to the hospital. <laughs> Grandpa! Oh, here you are. Oh. <clears throat> Say, did you get her all set? Oh, yeah. I give her a nice room overlooking the park. Well, that's good. Oh, uh, did you call that boyfriend of Hassie's at Bob? Yeah, I called him. He said he'd be glad to come over to supper. Yeah, that's going to be a nice surprise yeah. for her. But don't you think we should to sort of tell her so she, if she wants to make something special, huh? I'll call her. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Me and Luke's got a little surprise for you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, this this boyfriend of yours, Bob, somebody, we know that we kind of busted up your date today. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, and we know you kind of wanted to spend a little time with you. That's wonderful. Well, after all, Kate will be home in a few days, so you won't have to eat out very long. And... <laughs> Hold it, Hass. We got a different surprise for you. <laughs> we invited your Bob friend over to supper tonight. You didn't. <laughs> Why, when he tastes your cooking, you're going to have him hooked like a catfish. Well, I'm going to call him right up and cancel hey, it. Now, you ain't doing nothing of the kind. He invite is he invite. Well, I should think you'd be glad to have him over well, here. Well, uh, uh, he's got kind of a fussy stomach. Oh, <laughs> with your cooking, it don't matter how fussy you know, he is. He's coming at six. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> well, now, go figure that one out. Yeah, now, Luke, you know, if she, if she don't watch out, she, she's going to uh, turn on. Yeah. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, Luke. How's Miss Hi, Luke? Oh, she's going to straighten it for you. See, you know, she's just my heart good the way she takes a hold of things. I know she had it in her. But she's a real McCoy woman. Yeah. <laughs> she's a real woman, all right. <laughs> I gotta agree with you, Grandpa. The only way for a gal to learn how to do things on her own is just by doing them. Which man? I mashed something in my shoe. Well, I'll be. What is it? It's clove of garlic. <laughs> garlic? <laughs> Kate's paring knife. <laughs> And a piece of celery. Well, I know Kate's been eating supper in bed, but the leavings couldn't go right through the mattress. <laughs> now, if that don't be no, you see, I begin to see. Hessie's all nervied up this afternoon. She's got Kate doing all the work. But Kate ain't moved. She's been staying right in bed. 
But a general don't necessarily run his army from the firing line, you know, Luke. <laughs> well, to think of Hassie sitting back and taking all them compliments for last night's supper. Yeah. Oh, little Hassie pulling the stew right over our eyes. <laughs> it's a big disappointment to me, Luke. Hurl even can't do all the work, and the worst part of it is her taking credit for it. I'm going to tell her a thing or two. I'll tell you, that child deserves to be punished. No, 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 look. She'll get her punishment w w without us doing nothing. What? Tonight, Kate won't be here to cook the supper. And Hassie's got a very special guest. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, Hesh. We are supposed to eat at 6.30. Now it's after 7. Hassie's doing the best she can, so why don't you just sit and enjoy the company? <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn. You need some help, Hassie? No, I don't. <laughs> Does Hassie sound upset to you, Mr. McCoy? No. <laughs> likes to be left alone in the kitchen. <laughs> Boy, she's, she's probably enjoying herself no end. <laughs> Ready. Passage. <laughs> Holy Toledo. Passy, are you all right? Yeah, it looks like you've been wrestling with the pot roast and it won. If you'll sit down, I'll bring in supper. Oh. All right, Bob, sit yourself down over there in Kate's place to put the table. Uh, yes, sir. Um, maybe I ought to help Cassie. <laughs> she doesn't look very well. Oh, yeah, it's just nerves. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was just thinking, Bob ain't done us no harm. I don't know if we got a right to put him through a meal like this. I thought of that too, Luke. Sit yourself down. Say, Bob, there's a new Chinese restaurant opened up downtown. Maybe we'll go down a little later and try her out, huh? Well, gee, Mr. McCoy, I don't think I'm gonna be hungry. Don't bet on it, son. <laughs> yeah, where do you get a taste of this, Bob? It was just half as good as last night's meal. <laughs> Well, go ahead. You're the guest. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm, it's delicious, Hassie. Poor devil's half crazed with hunger. <laughs> I don't get it. Something went wrong. He's good. Cassie, you're wonderful. Oh! <laughs> oh, gosh. All I said was she's wonderful. I'll handle it, son. Done good meat you made, Ash. Grandpa, I've got to tell you something. Oh? When you were giving me credit for doing everything so well and, and, and for taking over the responsibility of the house, it was Kate. It wasn't me. <laughs> we know that, Ash. You know? Well, sure. As a general rule, Kate. Ain't in the habit of sleeping with garlic under a bed. <laughs> Why didn't you say something? Well, I think it's better that this way that you say it. I don't know why I did such an awful thing. Oh, no, well, it's all over now. I just can't do any of those things. I can't cook, I can't sew, I just can't seem to do oh, anything. Yes, yes, now, shimmer down, shimmer down. <laughs> what do you think them three ravenated boys is gobbling up in there? Well, I... A darn fine meal, that's what. <laughs> you know, you see, you talked yourself into not being able to do it. But you see what happened when the chips was down and you back was again the stove. <laughs> you don't hate me? Of course I don't hate you, honey. We'll admit my hackles was up there for a spell, but that's all for God. Now, come on, let's get back in that dining room where no doubt the compliments is awaiting you. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I want to get you that meal. We got dessert, ain't we? Yeah, I made it, but I won't be able to serve it. 
Why not? There's not any dishes left that aren't broken. <laughs> Them hospital treatments, have you? Well, they sure did, Grandpa. The soreness is all gone. It's good. I still have to stay in bed for a few days. You will. You do whatever the doctor says. You say Hassie did fine? You wouldn't have believed it. Well, she, she was a real joy. <laughs> but who's gonna... Oh, stop worrying. We got everything all worked out. But I mean, with Hassie going back to school and all. I'm doing the cooking. You, Grandpa? Yes, sir. I got a sauce on the stove right now. This have to be the biggest bombshell that ever hit the world of spaghetti. We've <laughs> <laughs> had it on for two hours already. Yeah, and you say, I better go see it right now. <laughs> Why don't you try to take a nap? All right, Lou. I hope I'll be up and around in a few days. Well, I'll try to let you sleep right through to supper. I'll try. Grandpa, I'm going to feed the chickens. Okay, Lou. Yes? Uh, can I see a minute, Kate? Come in, Grandpa. <laughs> I tasted it. <laughs> 